All right, quiz six, math 243. Um, given a bunch of information here, really what's important is that that we got a mean a mu of 50 and a standard deviation of 10 and 36 people in our sample. Um, but yeah, I made a question about Oregon Ducks and Civil War and how much we're going to beat the Beavers by, blah, blah, blah. Um, so what it wants to know is what is the probability that the average is more than 55, the average of these 36 people, um, and wants us to sketch a picture. So I think what I will do is I'll start with shape, center, and spread. Um, the shape of this distribution is approximately normal. because n, 36, is greater than or equal to 30. The center is 50, because mu of x bar is equal to mu. And this spread is, well, 10 sixth. It's 10 divided by the square root of 36, which is 10 over 6, which is what, 1.67? Um, and that's because the standard deviation of the sampling distribution is sigma over the square root of n. Um, and with this information, we can draw a picture. We got our approximately normal distribution. We got our center is 50, and here's 51.67. How would that be? 53. 0.33, and then three standard deviations would be 55. And then if we go in the other direction, we got 48.33. And then if you subtract 1.67 from that, well, let's see, this should be a 45. And then I guess this would have to be 46.67. Anyways, you got this picture. What we're trying to figure out is what is the probability that the average is more than 55? Convenient that that ended up being exactly three standard deviations. So what we got to do is figure out this area here. I can do that down here. Um, you can get that either by doing normal CDF. And then our lower bound is 55. Our upper bound is some absurdly large number. Our mean is 50, and our standard deviation is 1.67. Um, or you can look up three standard deviations. Oh, well, let's figure out what that's equal to first. So let's see. Under distributions, you go to normal CDF, 55, some huge number, 50, and 1.67, and you get that's equal to point zero zero one three seven, maybe one four, or zero point one four percent. And then you could also use tables where our z value is equal to three because fifty five minus fifty divided by I don't know tenths five thirds which was this 1.67 is equal to 3. So either way, you get this area right here is 0 0.14. All right, in the next problem, um, things are a little bit different. Now we have qualitative data instead of quantitative data. Um, but we can still figure that out. Maybe we'll, one sec. OK, so if you go through this problem, um, maybe I'll switch colors. We have that 70% of all college football fans that's telling us that this right here is P. It's the population parameter proportion. <laughs> um, think this thing. If 80 college football fans are chosen at random, so that's N. 
and then we get p is 0 0.70. Um, 60 of them, so we get that 60 out of the 80 is our p hat. Um, and that's 6 eighths or 3 quarters or 0 0.75 is p hat. Um, think that the duck should go to this game. Um, wait, no. Yeah, okay. Um, so the way we can figure this out is we, well, we kind of go back to what we did in the other problem. We need to know the shape, the center, center, and the spread. And the shape is approximately normal. Because instead of n being greater than 30, it's n times p times 1 minus p is greater than or equal to 10. Um, I suppose we should have calculated that, although I know it'll work out. 80 times 0 0.7 times 0.3 is equal to 16.8. Uh, Um, so it's approximately normal is the bottom line. The center is exactly P. So the center happens at 70%. And that's because that's what P is equal to. And for the spread, we have a formula. It says that the standard deviation of P is equal to the square root of p times 1 minus p divided by n. That's all under the square root. So if you plug in some numbers, we get that's the square root of 0 0.7 times 0 0.3 divided by n, which was 80. And that's the square root of 0 0.00265. square root of that number is 0 0.05 I don't know 1 2 0 0.051 that's well I'll go one more 0 0.0512 good enough we got the spread so what we have is everything that's important we have the shape which is approximately normal the center is at 70%, and the spread is 0 0.0512. So if we do 0 0.70 plus 0 0.0512, we get 0 0.7512. And then if to that you add 0 0.0512 again, you get 0 0.8024. And then if we did that again, we would get 0.85. 36, and then 0 0.70 minus 0 0.0512 is 0.6488, and do it again, subtract point, another standard deviation, and you get 0.5976, and do it again, and you get 0.5464. So what the question is asking is, what is the probability that more than 60 of these people, that our p hat will be more than 75%? So the way we can answer that question is by going to our picture here, saying, well, 75% is somewhere in here. So we want this area. Um, but we can figure out that area. One way to do it would be normal CDF. Put in the mean, the spread. No, don't put in the mean and the spread. Put in the lower bound, 0.75. The upper bound, some big number. The center in this spread. And what that will give you
is 0.1644, about, or 16.44%. And maybe I'll just make a little note here, could also, could also look up Z, which would be 0 0.75, 0 0.75, minus 0 0.70 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Um, what's that, a little bit less than one standard deviation, 0 0.98 in the tables. Um, that would give you the area below. If you do one subtract that, you get this. So I guess the answer is 16.44%, but it's because of that picture. Um, that's the end of the quiz.